Kia ora tato. In this video we'll look at acid-base reactions and we'll focus on the bases part of acid-base reactions. Um, so just a quick summary of bases that we would have come across in year 11. Um, so two examples of, of bases that we came across were uh, metal hydroxides, so often um, that would be sodium NaOH, sodium hydroxide, or we might have had sodium carbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate. Um, Na let's say sodium hydrogen carbonate, NaHCO3. Um, and so these are bases because they are proton acceptors. So if we were to react these with an acid, H, let's react them both with HCl, HCl, both of these will accept the hydrogen, they'll ex the hydrogen ion, they'll accept that proton, and then we react them and we form a salt, so in this case it would be NaCl, and we always form water, H2O, so this would form NaCl as well, with salt plus water. <clears throat> and in the case of um, carbonates, we would get um, carbon dioxide formed as well. Uh, but the reason, yeah, the reason that we form these products is because this base has accepted a proton from um, the acid. So let's have a look at what this means in relation to amines. Um, so amines are able to accept protons, so if we draw a simple ethanamine molecule, so we've got NH2, and we've just got the hydrogens around there. Um, so if we were to react, put um, ethanamine into water, what would happen is that this, um, the amine group would, uh, the amine group here, would accept a, one of the hydrogens from water. And so what we would get as the products is, is uh, C, H3, I'm just drawing the products down here because I've run out of room, H, H, and because it's gained a hydrogen ion, we're now going to have NH3 plus. So this would be ethyl ammonium. Uh, we don't need to know the name for these amine um, cations, but ethyl ammonium would be the, the result of this. And then the water, because it's now given away a hydrogen ion, is going to just be OH minus. So the amine has acted as a base, it's accepted a proton from the water, and now we've um, increased the concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution. So because we now have hydroxide ions in the solution, um, if we were to put uh, red litmus paper, if we were to put a red litmus paper into a solution that contained an amine, then that litmus paper would turn blue. So that's what we need to know if we have any identification questions, just like with carboxylic acids, that you could identify them using blue litmus paper. Um, that's about the extent of what we need for the um, organic chemistry base reactions. I haven't seen anything more complicated than this come up. So again, the acids and bases part of organic chemistry is relatively complicated, so just spend as much time as you can, um, write this out, practice it as much as you can, um, and you'll be fine. So thanks very much for watching. See you next time.